To provide solutions that drive digital transformation for our customers, PTC has launched a new SaaS offering of Creo called Creo Plus. This offering of our flagship CAD application combines the power and proven functionality of Creo with real-time design collaboration and cloud-based CAD administration tools. Powered by Atlas, PTC's SaaS platform, Creo Plus should be a game changer for administrators as they now can manage their whole organization from their desktop. Through the Creo Plus Admin Portal and the Creo Plus Control Center, admins can now manage users, define group profiles based on roles, assign license entitlements to users, and automatically deploy Creo Plus across their organization. This will drastically minimize the time administrators spend on installing, configuring, and updating Creo. Let's put on our admin hat and showcase the centralized capabilities introduced with Creo Plus. Through a browser, I can access the Creo Plus admin portal for my organization in Atlas. The portal is where the admins will manage their organization, including inviting users, managing profile groups, assigning license entitlements, and deploying Creo Plus. Through the left navigation panel, I can access different areas of the portal to manage the organization. On the home page, this will show the main widgets to administer your organization and link to the different areas. The People page will list all the members of the organization that have been invited and activated their account. The License page lists all the available license entitlements in your organization. Selecting the different tabs, I can view all the company's licenses, including licenses to run, extensions, and floating options. PTC will introduce a new licensing methodology for Creo Plus, including a named user entitlement for the license to run and extensions, which can be assigned to individual users. A shared license to run will also be introduced, which will allow multiple people to grab that entitlement, if available, but will lock it to them for 24 hours. Lastly, floating options can be grabbed by users in their Creo session. The profile page is where the admin will see all the created group profiles for their organization. Lastly, the collaboration page will list all the collaboration sessions created by their users for their company. On the home page, I would first set up the global settings. This will define a standard settings that the profile groups will leverage and maintain a standard configuration for Creo Plus. For the configuration path, I can point to a local drive, UNC path, or a OneDrive folder. This will contain my company's Creo configurations. With that said, I will now create a profile group, which will enable me to assign my users to. These groups can be defined as roles, regions, departments, or custom. I'll create a default profile group that all users will be added to once they are invited and activate their account. Selecting the Auto Receive button, any new user invited to the organization will automatically be added to it. On the next page, I can choose to use the global settings I created or define this group's own configuration path and language. Lastly, I'll choose a set of floating options I want to make available to this group. Now that I've defined the global settings in the profile group, I can now start to invite users to the organization. On the home page, I can click the Invite User button, which will allow me to include the user's email address and their specific role. As the user I'll be adding is an end user, I'll define them as a viewer. All users invited to the organization will receive an email invitation to join. Let's take a look at that process. As a user, I'll see the invitation in my inbox. Selecting the email in the Getting Started button, I'll be able to log in to the Creo Plus user portal. The user portal provides a user to download and install the PTC Control Center, as well as get valuable resources to get started. Switching back to the admin page, once the user has activated their account, the admin will be able to see them listed in the People page. Now the admin can start to assign their license entitlements. Depending on the user's role will determine the type of entitlement to provide. In this case, Alex is a frequent user and one of my most experienced. So I will assign him the Named User Creo Design Advanced Professional Entitlement and the Generative Topology Optimization Extension. As you can see, Alex is automatically added to the Engineering Profile group. Switching back to Alex, he can now download and install the PTC Control Center from the Creo Plus User Portal. And once finished, he'll be asked to authenticate. Through the PTC Control Center, Alex can view his assigned entitlements and the profile groups he is a member of. Immediately, the PTC Control Center will start to download and install Creo Plus based on those entitlements. Alex doesn't need to do anything. Everything is automated.
First, the base install of Creo Plus will be done, followed by the additional components based on his entitlements. Once the install is finished, Alex can choose the desired profile to use to run Creo Plus, in this case, engineering. In the future, as new builds of Creo Plus become available, they'll be automatically deployed to all users, enabling every user to be on the latest release of Creo Plus. These updates will include new functionality and capabilities, making users more productive and addressing the company's challenges of time to market, improve quality, and reduce costs. With Creo Plus, companies will be able to harness the power and capabilities of Creo with the new cloud-based services to enhance team collaboration, improve user productivity, and streamline license management and administration. Lower IT administrative support costs by minimizing IT burden associated with license deployment, security, and updates. Lower product costs by enabling real-time collaboration. And lastly, faster time to market by capitalizing on the latest capabilities in Creo to get the job done.